Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for March 16th through the 31st, 2021. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. We are building to the full moon in Libra, which will be on March 28th. So uh, definitely looking forward to that one since I'm Libra. And it, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work for over three years now. Um, the link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, my story in getting here. Definitely check out the testimonials page and I do offer a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Um, it's an amazing tool to help just clear out anything that you no longer need, balance your major energy centers and just help you feel really uh, much more peaceful and clear and um, you know, from a place so you can deal with relationships and situations and things in your life from just a more centered space within yourself, okay? So again, the link is below. All the information is on the website, and that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for March 16th through the 31st, 2021. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just get straight into it for you guys see what we've got going on here. We've got the full moon in Libra on the 28th, which will be completely opposite of you. All right, Aries. First one out. Beautiful Aries. Okay, the first card that jumped out was the Eight of Wands here. Now this card brings really, I, I feel like high vibe energy. It's going to bring messages, clarity, movement, action. Uh, could be some travel coming up for you. I've seen a lot of travel actually. Short trips, weekend trips, um, for some of you even longer trips. But yeah, just movement. I'm seeing movement here. And with that fire energy, I feel clarity is also going to be coming in for you around a specific situation. So I don't know if that's work or love or a family, a deal or something like that. But with the messages and with the this fast moving energy, you are going to get answers to something you've been seeking. I've also got the star card out here, which is a beautiful card of healing rejuvenation, really getting in alignment with your highest and best path. It's like shining towards your North Star. And if you notice, there's one foot in the water here, one, one foot on earth. It's just a balanced healing energy here. So if you are taking little weekend trips or little getaways, I feel it is going to be very healing and rejuvenating for you. You could be doing this alone or with a partner. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here with the star card. Um, but regardless, I feel whether you're going alone or with somebody, this is really needed. And I do feel there's love around you, Aries, like quite strongly, actually. So some of you are already in a relationship and some of you I'm feeling you're preparing for somebody to come in here. With the Queen of Cups, uh, could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer coming in for you. I'm really seeing that this person is very clear of their feelings for you. Like notice that this Queen of Cups, there is one cup and it is being handed out to you. So someone has their eye on you, Aries, and I feel that they are very clear of their intentions and their feelings with you. So the love that they bring you could also create some deep healing and deep rejuvenation here. Maybe you've been on your own for quite some time and you're really allowing in this beautiful love. It feels very easy and very flowy to me. Like I'm not feeling a lot of resistance. But let me see what else I've got here for you. Wow, Aries, there is just so much love around you. Oh my goodness. 
Next up, I've got the Death card, Knight of Cups, and Ace of Cups. Whoo! Holy moly, this is beautiful. With the Death card, so this love that's coming in for you, it is really helping you to heal and shed old layers old wounds, um, things from past relationships, old scars, like deep inner healing in regards to love um, and some of the pain that you've been through with love. Also, you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. It's this very strong Scorpio energy and also with all the water, so uh, Pisces or Cancer as well. Or really, with all this water, it's just a very deep message around your emotions, your intuition. I feel this person you're dealing with is very intuitive and very in touch with their emotions. And I feel you are as well, and you're getting stronger with that. With the Knight of Cups here, I almost feel like this is you. I feel your energy here and I feel their energy on the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you are returning your cup to them. Because you are healing and you are going through some of the lessons that you are here, I see you as the Knight of Cups and I see them as the Queen of Cups. Almost like not that you're at different levels, but in regards to love and giving love, I feel they have maybe healed a little bit more or they are a little bit um, more aware of that part of themselves. And you're here going through your own lessons and your own growth in regards to what real love looks and feels like. So it's almost like the two of you, look at how the cards have laid out. It's like the two of you are coming together to meet with this Ace of Cups in the middle, which is just joy, happiness, emotional connection, and fulfillment. Um, I think the, the definition for the Ace of Cups is his cup runneth over. Like it's just overfilled with joy and with love. And because it's an Ace, I feel this is, you know, kind of the beginning of a relationship, the beginning of this romance, this deep flowing um, love. This is incredible. I just got goosebumps, Aries. There is a lot going on here for you. Uh, with this Libra full moon coming up at the end of March on the 28th, I feel that's going to help seal the deal with any, if there, woo, if there has been any confusion as I say that word, look at what comes flying out. If there has been any confusion or any misunderstandings coming up for you, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups. You have all cups out here except for this sword card, the Eight of Wands, and the Major Arcana cards. Otherwise, it is all cups. That is amazing. So what I was saying, with this full moon that's coming up, there is going to be something that needs to be communicated and spoken about, okay? With this Seven of Swords energy, I don't necessarily feel there's been secrets or anything like hidden from you, but I feel there's something that hasn't been addressed or spoken about that needs to be. And with the Page of Cups here uh, that came out with this card, I feel an important part of dealing with whatever this Seven of Swords is, is to keep your energy light to keep it, um, you know, to bring a little bit of playful energy into it, no matter how serious it is, try to lighten it up a little bit. That is spirit's way of, um, of understanding a situation. And it can let go, it can really help let go of some of the heaviness if there is something like that that you're dealing with, okay? So again, there's going to be communication or something come up um, that needs to be dealt with. And for a moment, you may feel a bit confused, confused, overwhelmed, unsure, um, just, you know, trying to get the clarity here, what's real, what's not real. But I don't want you to worry because I feel like this love and this connection is very deep. It's very strong. It's not going anywhere. So I would just call this a little hiccup, which every relationship has, right? Okay. Let me see what else there is for you. Again, okay, Scorpio is super strong out here. I'm also feeling Aquarius, um, Pisces, and Cancer. Um, and also fire energy, which, which is your energy, but you know, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius as well.
Okay, amazing. Aries, your last message is Archangel Michael, which tells me and reconfirms you are really protected through this relationship and in this relationship. I feel you're meant to be with this person. This is very divinely guided, and that's why it's going to trigger a little bit of healing as well. Actually, a lot of healing. Um, but this little hiccup with the Seven of Swords energy, you're going to be protected through that as well. So rise above any heaviness and try to see things from like a grander perspective. That will help you flow through it much easier. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message. That one came out very quickly. All right, Aries, you've got owl magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. That is amazing, Aries, because that's what we are talking about, right? You're trusting yourself. You're learning a new and different kind of love. This could be you know, any deception or any anything that is hasn't been spoken about. I feel that's what you're going to be facing here. But it's part of your lesson of, um, you know, knowing the truth and trusting the truth here. Powerful, powerful, Aries. I love this reading for you. I hope that resonates. If not, no worries at all. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, really any placement of Aries. Um, thank you for your comments below the video. I do love reading those. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around uh, the world at this point. So it doesn't matter how far apart we are. Um, the link below to my website has all the information there for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials page, and you'll see I offer a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Um, and I think that's it, Aries. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of March, and I will see you back here for the first half of April readings. Take care.